about this? It might be a candy, but we both have the same intuition, and I wonder if it's a good or a bad one. Well, let's find out. <laughs> so we both had the intuition to, to uh, yes. try to bring this to over. Uh -huh. Stop. Yeah. And then do this in. Why? This, this really depends. In the gi, that's a great intuition. In no gi, it's of limited utility. Uh, if you go back into that position for a second, when you pass this girl, like step, just stand up, like literally just stand. Yeah, no, no, just say, like, yeah, yeah, just, like hold on, just stand up. You notice you can't really keep it there because you don't have the handle of being able to pull your hips back. Okay. So in in a drilling environment where again people are being somewhat cooperative uh, and not really resisting full bore, putting the shit in there, you're like. Yeah, yeah, that's enough to keep me here. But if you're really like, no, fuck this, you're gonna leave. So, in the, but like I have said that, in the gi, it's great because as soon as you lace this foot, like, once you get this in habit, when you lace this foot and just like grab this handle, it's great. It's, it's, it's super powerful, you know, it's like the baby bolo is what it's called. So it's a, an extremely powerful mechanism in the gi. In no gi, I don't want to say never, because certainly, if, uh, given the right timing, yes. And what I mean by the right timing is, if I go here, and I put this in, and I can sit up and pull him onto me, and then let go. Yes, because now his weight is so far back that any attempt to stand up just sends him into a back tick. But if his weight is still forward, or forward, being forward into your hands, you see what I mean? Like, I literally cannot keep his knee down in any way because his base is too powerful. So if I'm able to find a way to do this and this, then I can let go because now I control, look at all these corners I've got, right? I don't have any of the top corners, but I've got uh, both levers to the bottom corner, direct control with my hand and direct control with my shit. So I've got direct control of both bottom corners and lever base control of both bottom corners. I've got it. Um, otherwise, no. So, uh, yeah, like, the, the level of sophistication and timing you would have to have to make this work in Nogi is much higher than it is in the Gi, and that's probably the most succinct I can be about, or the most polite I can be about it. Uh, does that yeah. help? Does anybody else have questions about this? So a lot of you figured it out um, that when you kind of get here, the way to create really good robust control here is to either keep this knee in or if you have to shoot this one in, to keep this one in. Mm -hmm. If you do this, it's driving it towards me a little bit more, like, mm -hmm. the, it, it can basically break the position because you don't have enough frames. So depending on how effective my ratchet is, depending on how uh, flexible my partner's knee is, if I don't have some distance management here, if this knee gets through, or like a back step here, yeah, this is something that'll happen where you'll be fighting off a leg attack here, uh, you know, potentially heel hook, knee bar, toe hold stuff, right? Um, those are things that will occur because you haven't managed the distance properly, right? Like I noticed a few of you running up here with the, like the back step problem to see how you re-spin around like this kind of thing, and then you're getting to here, which is by the way correct. Right, like trying to now turn this way and try to organize this hook here and still take the back from here. That's all correct. But depending on how late you do it, it starts to become you know, unwise to have to go through that amount of resistance. Whereas if we are here and he wants to back step, and I just have my knee in the way, his back step becomes irrelevant. And if I lace this foot here and he wants to back step, again, his back step becomes irrelevant. If I want to allow him to back step down, He's just going into strong control on my part and not actually improving his position. So it's not that the back step is a problem, it's that him back stepping when he wants is it, it, a problem. Him back stepping when I want or when I control it, I don't care about that. So just you know, like something I noticed, most of you figured it out, but some of you were having a little bit of trouble with it where your partner was back stepping and it was causing you to have to go through a bunch of steps where sometimes you would succeed, sometimes you would fail. That's not necessary. If you just do a better job of organizing your frames and your hooks on the far side and actually controlling that far hip and not just letting them choose when to backstep. Uh, that answer.
answer any questions that people did, didn't occur to you to ask or didn't, didn't think it was a good question. Um, is there anything else that we can cover for this position for you guys? Okay, sorry, go ahead. How are you getting the weight on? Uh, so by, by amplifying the ratchet. Oh. So the where we will run into problems is we'll be here, you go into the four point kind of position. Right? Yeah, exactly. And you build up, like we'll lift your hips up, kind of, yeah. So right now I've got almost no ratchet effect. As I climb above the knee and flex you know, my bicep a little bit, pull the knee, I amplify the ratchet effect. So even though we started with this mechanism, uh, and, and you guys were doing a good job of getting here by using the mechanism, once you were here, a lot of you were like in a rush to let go and chase the far side without really like utilizing this to its greatest effect. And that was almost always because your partner would build their hip height and you would end up below the knee and struggling to create the effect. So anytime there's a problem here, we just jump our thigh over the knee. And that's what brings his weight onto the knee. It's just amplifying the ratchet effect. And that's the easiest and best way to do this because it takes a lot of, like, this is no longer a person who, like, someone doing a Spider-Man push-up is not in a super athletic position anymore, <laughs> right? So if I can bring him here, especially if I can get that leg off the ground, then I'm in really good shape, right? And again, this is one of those, like, he might want a back step. And yeah, keep going, keep going, keep back stepping, keep back stepping, keep back stepping. This would be a potential answer. Where I, if I had just tried to take the back, I wouldn't be anywhere good. But now I'm like basically about to end the fight, right? So um, mm -hmm. amplifying the power of that ratchet will help solve a lot of problems here. Uh, so having said that, do uh, you guys feel you want a little bit more time in this position, or do you want me to add another thing? A little more time here? That is the right answer. Let's get to it, guys. <laughs>